hi Annabelle. Um, it is January 25th. I look and feel like a zombie right now because I've been nocturnal for the past while, the past few weeks, on and off. And I'm trying to fix it again. And it's hell. I've tried and failed the past couple of days to fix it, but it's just not worked at all. <sighs> but this is nearly midday now and it's the latest I have managed to stay awake for a while. Uh, I like the curly hair, I think you really said it. Um, and that Daily With picture a while back, you did, that I commented with, with the Regina Spectre picture on, that's because it genuinely was the first thought that came into my head, that particular picture of Regina Spectre just kind of looked like yeah, a wee bit with the hair done. Um, and the, uh, I'm quite amazed <laughs> that you actually did the, the John Green hug challenge. I saw Rob's video and it was adorable. <laughs> I think that's really cool. And he said as well, he doesn't, he, what is he, doesn't like hugs, so he's really awkward with hugs. So it's been, what, nearly two months, I think, and, you know, since the last Scottrain video, which is completely my fault, um, and it's, at first, it was because of work. I mean, I was hard, hardly even had time to get online because it took so long to get into work and then get home from work, and then I would just I would eat something and then just go straight to bed. So the only time I got online was on the phone on the bus into work. Um, I did make a video a couple of days after Christmas. It was the first time I got home since then because I'd been at my mum's for a wee while. Um, but the video I made was oh, like it was it was really bad. It was just it was just awful. Then there was the um, the drama, <laughs> the the drama that lasted all of about a week and a half. I can't make videos when people are in the house or when it's night because the like the walls in this house are really quite thin. There's a hall separating mine and my dad's room and I can still hear them snoring. They can hear me talking. Oh and this is the new webcam I got which I've been looking at a while back. It's okay. I mean my computer is old and doesn't support the high definition function so it's just on slightly lower quality. But I'm making the video now, so that's something. Ah, uh, hair in my mouth. Oh. Uh, oh, and I did your challenge. I completed the challenge. Um, you may be able to see behind me. I can't actually see myself right now because I've turned the monitor off. Because otherwise I'd keep looking down there. So somewhere in that vicinity, I feel like a weatherman, there is, you know, bobbles and tinsel around a mirror. And just above my head, on top of the TV you can probably see a tiny red speck. That's a Christmassy bowl sitting on top of the TV. And um, over there there should be a little white blob kind of at the end of my bed. That's a snowman hanging from the end of my bed. There's also like a bell thing that I hung from there as well. And what else did I do? I hung uh, bells from both sides of the curtain rail and from part of the curtain rail I hung it's like a Christmas stocking but it's got a wizard in it there we go up there I found these earlier these were things that I got sent to the post ages ago it was just someone um, on daily booth called Irma or Irma however you pronounce it um, said that she would send out a little art card to someone and she sent it out to me and it says smile and it's quite pretty it's just she drew it just on that card all of that that black card and um someone else a while back on tumblr did this thing it's called drawing for a smile and they would you'd write in or email in and say could you send me something please and give them your address and they would this 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 kid who was like fourteen or something would send you out this drawing, and um, you would send back a 
picture of yourself with the drawing smiling. Um, and that's the one he sent me. It's a butterfly net, and it's just the detail on it is amazing. I don't even know if he can make that out because I can't see what I'm doing right now. But he says to Julie, "Here's one of a butterfly net," and then an indistinguishable or an unreadable signature. Um, but it's just it kind of amazes me how people can create out of nothing. I said create weird, um, because I've never really been able to do that. Um, I don't have a creative streak and I, it's like I can't visualize, or if I do visualize something it doesn't translate onto the paper. I'm, I've always wanted to be able to paint or draw or compose, do something like that, but I don't know where it is. It's just there's nothing, uh, sucks, you yeah. know? Um, I did have a challenge for you, but I stupidly didn't write it down, and I can't remember what it was. So, you know what? I can go on Twitter and ask people um, what I should challenge you to do. So, Daniel answered my question online, eventually, and um, it's your challenge is to talk about your daily life like a boss. So, you have to do it. I mean, like you're a total boss slash douchebag. <laughs> you know, like wash some dishes like a boss. Like like that a little bit. Okay, bye. Where's the damn stop button?